Hey guys, today we're reviewing, no, I'm reviewing, um, actually I'm, I'm actually comparing them, I've reviewed them already, um, but I actually thought that I would just do a short video, a short comparison video, um, because I've actually just realised that they're, they're, they're aimed at the same group of people, um, one's a speed boot, one's an agility boot, And really they're both exactly the same thing in that they're supposed to be lightweight flexible and they suit the the sprinter and in, in the person or um, someone that um, is quite quick or likes to dribble with the ball so I just thought I'd just do a quick comparison um, just in case you guys can't decide whether to get a Nemesis 19.1 or to get a Ghosted 2 um, X, uh, which I think are pretty much a, a, around the same price, both of them, especially now they're around um, 60 to 80 pounds or 60 to 90 pounds, but they're both, if you look hard, you could you could probably get them for either both of them 60 or both of them 70 pounds. So um, they're around the same price point. And as I said, they aim, they're aimed towards the same group of people. Um, so just thought I'd just give you a quick comparison on, on what I feel was maybe right for you and maybe the pros and cons of each of them. Um, firstly, in terms of the looks, I obviously prefer the white one uh, and the design, I prefer this, although the lace system does look a bit funny. Um, but in saying that, um, it could just be that because these are bright orange, uh, which is just not me, um, which is probably why I like these better. Um, and in terms of... The actual um, fitting of the boot, um, I think I actually kind of forgot to mention in, in, in the video review, but the Ghosted um, probably doesn't suit the wider foot as much. So if you do have wider feet, um, I wouldn't go for the Ghosted and I would go for the, the Nemesis. I do feel that in terms of comfort, it could just be that I've got wide feet, I'm not sure, um, but these definitely feel more comfortable than these they just feel a bit more natural um, it could be uh, to do with the torsion system it just could be to do with the the, the construction of and the materials used um, but if I had to choose over my foot um, I would choose the, the nemesis in terms of comf comfort um, it could also be to do with the, the fact that my heel sits in more so when I when I do this, when I do that, uh, you probably obviously won't be able to see it. But when I do that to this boot, my, my foot doesn't move at all inside. But when I do it to this one, it does move slightly. Um, so it shows that ideally this probably should be sitting, your heel should be sitting slightly deeper. And that's the way it's been, it's been made. I don't think it's got anything to do with... The padding inside or anything because the the ghosted does have actually more padding inside um in here and it's probably made out of a softer material softer fake suede material than we have on here um but these i find more comfortable than these so that's probably why they've they, they inserted more uh, padding on that boot um just to help with comfort but saying that in terms of um, flexibility, that's where the Ghosted 2 come in because, um, because of the way it's been made and maybe the, the, the flexibility of the actual boot. Um, so if you see that, if you see that, this is definitely much more stiffer. Um, and so therefore, in terms of if I had to push off um, on a sprint, um, I do think the Ghosted 2 boots would actually suit me better just because it just feels um, like, it just feels lighter. And in terms of the weight, they're actually pretty similar. They're around, you know, 200 and 220 grams approximately each. So um, in terms of the actual weight, it's, 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 it's quite similar, but... Um, it, it's all obviously based on you need to make the decision um, based on your style of play and, and your actual foot 
size um, because as I said everyone's everyone's different everyone's got different types of foot and I don't know if my feet are wide or not but in terms of what I feel the, the nemesis definitely feels much more comfortable than than the ghost because I can feel it here I'm not sure if you can see it but my foot sticks out slightly here uh, which is fine um, because obviously the, the way that both boots are constructed they're very thin um, so that you have a better touch on the ball and a better feel on the ball so it's totally fine in terms of um, how it kind of feels inside and how it would feel on, on, on the ball but I, I this this Nemesis boots doesn't stick out at all there's, there's nothing sticking out and um, they both give me enough toe space but in terms of the sh it could be the shape um, this boot gives me more comfort and I think that's because when I plant my foot down it it does feel that there is um, less tension on, on these which is a bit um, a bit funny considering they call tension tape but that's because obviously it could just be the design it is this design fits my foot better um, but yeah, in terms of which boot, I do think they're both fantastic boots. They're great options to have. Um, I haven't tried the, the Nike, Nike um, equivalents of them. Hopefully I can do one day and then I can compare all three of them. But in terms of these two Adidas boots here, if you do like Adidas and you prefer Adidas, um, I would try both of these before you buy them. Um, just because it's quite, they both have their, obviously, they both have their pros and cons, um, but that can also obviously depend on on what style of player you are and, and what size foot you have. Um, as I said, I'm a, I'm a size eight. I've got them both in size nine and I'm a size eight in trainers. Um, the other one thing actually I would say uh, about the ghosted twos is in addition to being able to push off slightly better, they probably do have a better traction on their on their sole design and the way the sole's been made. Um, just because they have the, the way that the, the, the studs are shaped um, should help better, more with traction than as you can see with the Nemesis that are just normal conical studs. Um, so yeah, it's it's very difficult to tell um which boot i would i would choose if i was that kind of player um but in just in terms of um how i feel because for me the um comfort's very important for me when i'm playing football and in terms of how i feel i would i would choose the nemesis over the ghosted i think that probably explains why the, the nemesis actually is slightly more expensive um, when you compare the prices they are advertised slightly more expensive for some reason, but they are the same kind of price range and they should be around the same kind of price range. They're just different boots for, for you know, aimed at different kinds of people. So um, they are the same type of boot that you should compare them to, um, although you might not find that the prices are, are similar, um, but they should be. So yeah, just to let, just the final, um, on, on the boots like it's it's uh there are good choices to make um it is a difficult choice but i would definitely if you can obviously once the shops are open again hopefully uh soon um wherever you live then um you have the the choice to to try them both on and that's something i would advise especially if you you know if you don't mind you know if you, if you if you can afford to buy a boot and take the chance and go for it but um at 60 to 70 pounds I, I would definitely try them on first um and see which ones are better for you especially if you're not the pro footballer earning thousands a week so yeah i hope that helps um and i hope that um aids in making your decision um and if you have any questions just send me a comment below and i'll try my best to answer them Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Cheers.
Hey guys, please. Like, you know, one second.